All right, so here we have it. Ineos have decided that they are going to run disc brakes this year. It's not, I believe, the first time they run it. I feel they have tested it a couple times, but it's pretty big news because the whole team is actually going to be on disc brakes for GP Denan uh, and then potentially for Paris Bay as well. They posted this sort of mysterious thing saying, I'm not a robot, all this stuff, which I was like, well, this is a bit rogue, but obviously, you know, maybe they were just having some fun. And then the next post was like, we'll race on the Pinarello official Dogma F disc at tomorrow's GP Dinan in the lead up to Paru Bay. Now the question is, I don't think Ineos, well, okay, first of all, the main question is, why are they doing it? Now I don't think Ineos will be pressured by Pinarello because Fausto Pinarello famously said he didn't think that road, uh, road disc brakes are essential. So basically, are they actually getting forced to do it? I think probably not. I think the argument would be is that they can run wider tires with the disc brake version, so potentially that means they can go faster over the cobbles. However, there are obviously some big downfalls of this. For instance, wheel changes are very slow. Paru Bay is pretty infamous for punctures, so that's not a performance advantage, really. The braking could be better in the wet. If it's a wet Paru Bay, you could imagine that would probably be an advantage uh, for the Ineos riders if they were on disc brakes. Um, and that's all I can think. I guess the other thing is the downsides in Roubaix of weight basically don't matter um, because it's a pan flat race more or less. So yeah, those would be the reasons. But anyway, basically it's not very good news if you're a rim brake fan because it's really showing that now it is getting towards the end of rim brakes in the world tour, which you might think doesn't affect you or I, but it does because when they try and sell you stuff, they want it, the best athletes to use it. So that means less and less rim brake bikes are gonna be made. Um, now, the only thing is it's sort of a circular argument because they're like, if we sponsor them disc, then people see disc and then want disc. So then there's no, and they're like, yeah, but then no one wants rim. It's like, well, yes, but you're pushing it. If you didn't push it, if you said had rim and disc and said, you know, you can choose what you want, you know, maybe that would be, people would still be more on the rim brake. But anyway, it's sort of like neither here nor there. We all know when Ineos come to the Tour de France, the Giro, the Vuelta, hilly stages, they're not gonna be running disc brakes because they are just heavier and their bikes are pretty porky already. So I'm not sure with a disc brake, they'll be able to hit 6.8. Everyone's saying they can, but you know, it's like you do the maths on it and you're like, I'm not sure that's the case. And obviously in a Grand Tour, every time if you get a flat and then you have to change bikes, it's just more stress. So in that sense, it doesn't really make sense for them to go onto disc brakes. When they're descending, like for instance in the Giro, uh, Bernal binned Bardet on rim brakes. So I, I think, you know, there is an argument that they probably do brake slightly better, but then when talking about some of the world's best descenders, I'm not sure it's a huge issue for them. Uh, and if it was a huge issue, they would request to have uh, disc brakes because they could have them. Uh, but the Ineos riders seem to have rims, so that's just how it is. Um, and I think it will be interesting to see if this is a permanent change, a small change, or just, you know, ju just for this. Um, I can't imagine it being a permanent change. Uh, it could be the default is them on disc, but they'll still have options um, to have rim if they need to on the mountain stages. But yeah, interesting to see what the developments are. I didn't really see this coming to be honest, um, but I guess it's just forced by Paru Bay. They think they could wider tires, they'll be better, which I guess is hard to argue against. It's just the puncture issue. But anyway, cheers for watching. Obviously let me know your comments below. What do you think about Ineos going to disc brakes? Um, for the next couple races. Will it be permanent? Is it just a trial? We will see. But anyway, cheers for watching and see you in the next one.